a person who owns their own small business, how often do you go to networking events where you are blindly just picking up other people's business cards, handing out your business card, all of that, you get back, you've got this giant stack, you don't know what you're going to do with it, and then you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours taking time typing this information into people's, in, like, into either your calendar or your, your contacts or something like that with the hope that maybe one of these folks is actually going to be somebody who is interested in what you offer. My name is Sean Adams. I'm a, the, the Chief Passion Officer here at Financial Freedom Funnel. And I'm here to tell you, stop doing that. Stop worrying about carrying your business cards. I recommend to you, get a name tag. Everybody needs a name tag. This cost me maybe $30 to make, which is cheaper than making a bunch of business cards that people are going to throw away anyway. What do I do? Very simple. I ask people, if you're interested in what I want, go ahead and check out and learn more. And on my business name tag, it either has a text so they could just pull out their phone, because we all know everyone's using this thing nowadays. They could just get on their phone, send a text message to learn more about what it is that I have to offer. Or if they're even more technically savvy, they can just use the QR code that I have here and get to the same information. This information works really well, and that way I get them coming to my information. When they text or use the QR code, I'm collecting their information without me having to waste hours and hours and hours typing stuff. So what am I telling you to do? Get rid of your business cards. You don't need them. Instead, you need a way to collect information digitally so that it already is present. Now, once somebody has already done that, then they can go in and I can get more information from them and build up a rapport. What I've learned as somebody who's had their own small business, had lots and lots of success and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, six, seven figures of debt failure, is that the I spend too much time, or I have in the past, before I automated and simplified, spent too much time doing a lot of stuff that wasn't moving my business forward. Instead, I've got to spend that time, energy, and effort talking to, interacting with the people who are actually interested, are actually potential clients. This is the key. You're pre-qualifying folks, and instead of them getting a business card, you're getting a business card and hoping. What's happening is you're pre-qualifying. They've proven they're going to take some semblance of action already. Now, my business card, whenever I give that to them, takes them to this, which is my digital business card online. They could just ask a quick, simple question here, and I can collect more information about them. They can get a free small business success ebook. When they click on that, they get a whole list of ebooks, depending on where they're at and what they want to know. They get to choose which of these they want, and they're getting something beneficial and helpful from me in this way that then they can know, like, and trust me because I'm giving them a value and I'm not trying to sell them anything. They also could actually just request a, a complimentary consultation with me. They could just hop right in and put, get themselves in my schedule so that we could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But I'm putting the onus on them. If they're serious about working with me, and if my, my, my elevator speech, my conversation at a networking event is right and effective, they're going to want to work with me, then I don't have to worry about doing all of the legwork of following up they have to decide what that next step is. Either they want to get to know me better by going with one of the free ebooks, they've just got a simple question that they can ask away here, or they're ready for that complimentary consultation so they can get into more information quicker, faster, easier. And then also I have the opportunity. If they love this text messaging system that I set up that got them into me, then they can get the same thing here. So I'm giving them that opportunity of, yeah, this is unique, this is different, it makes you stand out from everyone else because you're not lugging around a bunch of business cards, and you could stand out this way too. I give them that opportunity here, let them know who I am, and then any other information they want, they can connect with me and find out all they want about me. So get away from a paper business card. I'm not saying you need to throw all of them out. I'm saying it should be your last resort 
handing some a business, someone a business card. You should be getting them to take the action to be interested in you so you are getting rid of pre-qualifying, disqualifying those folks who are just a bunch of like info seekers and really connecting and spending your time, your energy, your effort working with those folks who really are seriously interested in what you do. And that's why I say start now by getting yourself into the digital business card world. It's going to make your life easier. It's going to make you more efficient. It's going to let you automate a lot of the stuff that you used to have to do by hand. It's going to simplify your business and it's going to allow you to only talk to the people who are actually serious, which is the people you want anyway. So don't waste your time on just the, the seekers. Get in touch and get connected with those people who are serious about wanting to work with you by making them take action first just to get the ball rolling. Then you can do everything else that you know how to do well, but you're saving yourself time, energy, effort, and you're going to be more, success, success, you're going to be more successful. Cheers.